So now <clears throat> I've got my foam roller, whether you have a big one, a small one, um, um, a, a lacrosse ball, um, a tennis ball, um, whatever you, you have, that's kind of like a hard surface that we can roll up and down on. We'll start on it. So you're going to go ahead and take a seat on your foam roller. From here, you're gonna take one foot. I'm, I got my right um, foot crossed over my left knee. Then I'm gonna lean into my right hip a little bit. And then I'm gonna, from here, we'll roll up and down. You might find an area that's a little bit tender or spicy. Uh, um, you wanna lean into that, that's great. We'll get a few rolls here. back and forth over that glute. When you're ready, go ahead and switch sides. So now my left foot's gonna cross over my right, leaning into my left hip. I can bring my hand up over my foot just to have a little bit better leverage. Get a few rolls here. Sometimes side to side, it might feel a little bit more tender on one side than the other, that's okay. From here, we're gonna slide the roller down to our hamstring. If you got a big roller, slide it over, hang off and push you up and down. We're gonna go from the top of my kneecap all the way up to my glutes. I wanna make sure that I'm not rolling over my knee joint or my bone. I just wanna roll over the muscle, okay? While I'm here, I can turn my foot one way, turn it the other way to get the different muscles on my hamstring all the way up, all the way down. Now I forgot to mention, as you can see, I have my socks on. If, you, if you're in, an, in a place where you can take your shoes off, go for it. If not, no harm, no foul. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So now, same deal here, from the top of my kneecap all the way up to the bottom of my glute, going all the way up, all the way down. You want to put a little bit more pressure you can cross one leg over the other or if you have like a soft foam roller and you're not really feeling much uh, pressure here that's okay good next we're going to take the foam roller down to the next section which is your calves this is really good for either before or after a run because um, we know how much we use them and they can get tight and then the same rules apply here from the bottom of my kneecap all the way up all the way down, sorry, to the top of my foot. And then turning my foot in out to get different sides of that cat. Good, we'll go ahead and switch sides. Same deal, turn that foot in and out. You can cross one foot over the other to put a little bit more pressure into it. feels comfortable hang out there keep rolling otherwise we'll move on from here I'm gonna to go to the side so you all can see me you're gonna take the foam roller you're gonna put it behind your back okay from here you're gonna give yourself a big hug because you love yourself you're gonna point your elbows up to the ceiling and we're gonna roll out your whole back your shirt might get caught under the foam roller so keep that in mind and we want to go all the way up, all the way down. If your back sounds like you're making popcorn, that's okay, as long as it's not painful. I could stay there all day, but we, we must move on. So from there, we're gonna take the roller, it's gonna go behind your neck. So now you're using it as a pillow your neck into it and we're gonna get five yeses so nodding your chin sorry ten yeses nodding your chin up and down especially if we sit a lot before our workout whether it's like in the middle of the day uh, we're always leaning forward so this 
should actually feel really good. Then from here, we're gonna go chin to towards my left shoulder, and to my right. We're gonna get 10 no's. So 10 yeses, 10 no's. Very good. Now from here, we're gonna take the roller, it's gonna go underneath your armpit, okay? Tuck it in under the armpit, point that palm up to the ceiling, the opposite leg, so my left arm is in, the foam, the foam roller is under my left arm, my right knee is bent. I'm gonna use it to help me up, and then I'm gonna get my back on it, and I'm gonna roll out my lats, okay? This should feel very um, spicy. This one should feel very spicy, especially when we sit a lot, we're rolled forward and these muscles don't get that much attention. Now from here, we're gonna do a few rolls, then we'll pause. Both hands will be interlocked behind my head. My left elbow is down towards the ground. I'm gonna bring my right elbow to it and then open it back up. So it's like I'm opening, closing a book. We're gonna do five here. And then we'll take that the whole sequence to the second side. So <clears throat> under my armpit, tuck it in, point that palm up towards the ceiling, get my lats on it. Get a few there, then we'll pause with it in the armpit, interlock your fingers, and then open and close with the elbow. Good. After those five, we'll <clears throat> hop ourselves up, shake it out a little bit. By now we should start to be feeling, start to feel a little bit loose. If you're going for a run or a workout, <clears throat> you might start to, um, we we'll probably started uh, um, raising your internal body temperature getting ready to go we're gonna go to our quads next so like before if you have a big roller push it over to one side so that way the other leg can hang off and help guide you all the way up all the way down we're going down to the top of your kneecap and then up to the bottom of your hip crease When you're ready, we'll go ahead and switch sides. Good. A couple more areas to get. Next is going to be you're gonna lie down on your stomach. <clears throat> Meet me here with the foam roller by your side. We're gonna bring whichever leg is, is, is closest to it. For me, it's my left. I'm gonna bring that knee up to 90 degrees and then I'm gonna roll in and out. These are our adductors. And then we'll go ahead and take it, take it to the other side. <clears throat> now, if any of us are running today, to, this weather actually seems like more conducive to going for a run than the last couple of days. Even though the last couple of days were gorgeous, today's a little, little bit cooler, so might not be a bad day to get one of your harder workouts for the weekend. Uh, 
All right, once we're all set, <clears throat> take that roll and push it off to the side. Take it out. We're gonna, um, now we're gonna go into our stretches. So we're gonna start on all fours, hands and knees, okay? Right foot's gonna kick straight back. So now I, I have a straight line. I want a straight line from my ankle all the way up to my head. I don't wanna be too arched. I don't wanna be too rounded, but right in the middle. Then I'm gonna swivel my right heel underneath and then I'm gonna rock my hip out to that, to the right side. If I had a space in between my front pocket and my back pocket, that's where I'm trying to send my hip. I'm gonna get 10 rocks and then just bring it back to the middle. Should feel this right where we had the foam roller on the first where we first started when you had one foot crossed over the other other side right foot goes straight back left heel swivels underneath and my kneecap is literally sitting on top of my knee or underneath my kneecap is sitting on top of my heel sorry um and then we're gonna send that hip out to the side Exhale yourself into the stretch. Inhale yourself back. Get 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Good. After those 10, we're gonna take a seat on your roller, your mat, or sorry, on your floor, your mat. <clears throat> We're gonna go into 90-90. So from here, I have one foot in front of me, 90 degrees. I'm gonna swing my other foot behind me, 90 degrees. So from the side, I want a straight line from the foot that's on the ground, the knee that's on the ground, and the other foot, okay? From here, since my right foot is in front, my left hand is gonna go on my foot. I'm gonna twist my belly button so it's in line with that leg, and then I'm gonna pull it forward. I wanna keep my chest up tall so when I pull, I'm using my hips rather than using my back to get a little bit more range. Same thing here, you're gonna take an inhale. Exhale yourself a little bit deeper into the stretch. Good. From here, I'm gonna take the hand that's on my foot. I'm gonna reach it behind my butt turn my belly button the other way and we're gonna do the same thing big breath in through my nose exhale deeper into the stretch now if you've been with us the last uh, few weeks um, this is one of the first stretches that we started with so <clears throat> if you're feeling fancy we can um, progress this a little bit what we're gonna do here is you're gonna pick up your the back knee so that foot comes off the ground, bring your heel to the other heel, and then come right back to where you started. Okay, these are hip circles. Starting to get our hips moving through um, some of this full range of motion. If we ever get tight hips or tight hip flexors or tight glutes or even tight lower backs when we run, this is gonna be something really beneficial for us. Now, we're getting 10 hip circles here and from the front <clears throat> my front knee is going to want to lift up off the ground bonus points if you keep it on the ground eight ten, good. we'll go ahead and take it to the other side so now my left knee is in front 90 degrees my right is behind 90 degrees left hands out to the side Right hand is on my left foot, chest is up tall, and I'm pulling my belly button forward. I should feel a big stretch right underneath oh, that hip. Take a breath in. Exhale and pull yourself deeper into it. Very good. Go ahead and reach back. Sit up, turn your belly button the other way sitting up nice and tall. It's gonna be tempting to relax back here. You wanna to try to sit up 
as tall as you can. Same thing. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Good. And then we'll get five hip circles on this side. So right heel comes to tap left heel. Try to keep left knee on the ground the whole time. Good. Nice. Now from here, <clears throat> we're gonna come up to our knees and we're gonna get a toes or heel sit. So or toe sit. So knees are gonna be together, feet to get feet together, toes dug into the ground, and then we're just gonna sit back. You should feel a little bit of a stretch here, also a stretch in your feet. If you want more than a little bit of stretch, move yourself back. Good. Now let's take our toes, drop them down to the ground, and do the same thing. Now we're going to sit on our heels. Very nice. From here, we'll come to your back. We're gonna have feet flat on the ground, about hip width apart, okay? Knees are gonna be ideally outside my feet, okay? And you might have to play with your foot position, how far or close you are to your body in order to feel this in your glutes, which is where we want to feel it the most. So if I have them really far away, I might feel it in my quads or my hamstrings. If I have my feet really, really close, I might feel it in my lower back. So you have to find that just right position. Feet close, knees wide. We're going to take a big breath in through our nose. Exhale and lift your hips up off the ground. Hold it. One, two, we're going up to ten. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Come all the way down. We're going to do that two more times. So think about where you felt that, where you want to feel it, okay? In through the nose. Exhale and lift. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. One more. In through the nose. Exhale and lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Go ahead and sit yourself all the way up. <clears throat> Next, we're going to do our half lotus. So my right heel is going to come and sit underneath my left butt cheek. My left heel is going to come and sit right on top of my right knee. I'm going to sit up really tall. If this is a really, really tough situation to get into, that's okay. Meet me here. I'm cool with this too, okay? If you can get here, great. And if you can close the gap between your knee and your foot, even better. Good stretch to keep it open up. Go ahead and switch sides. Left heel, right butt cheek, right heel on top of my left knee. So from here, we'll go feet together. Knees are going to be butterflied out. Chest is up nice and tall. Now from here, I'm going to take a big breath into my nose, trying to match everything that we do up with breathing. Reset our nervous system and our brain in through my nose. Now I'm going to try to drive my knees down towards the ground without using my arms. Good. Another breath in through your nose. Exhale and push those knees down. One more. In through the nose. Exhale and push. Very nice. Next, I'm going to come to all fours. Okay. Knees are going to be wide. 
feet are going to be close. Arms are going to be reached out in front like someone's trying to pull them away from me. Okay. Chest stays up tall. And I'm going to rock my hips back towards my feet. And then come back to where I started. Drop them down towards the ground. Look up towards the ceiling. And then push them back. <clears throat> now, as I move through this, it's going to be tempting to round my back and tuck my butt in underneath. We want to fight against that. We want to try to maintain a generally straight line from my head all the way down to doing 10 here. If you want a little bit more stretch, spread your feet apart and still come back. And if you spread your feet apart, and still are able to get through it, you're a better person than I am. Good. Once you get those 10, we're going to do our adductor rocks. So, <clears throat> position, except now one leg is out to the side. That foot is flat on the ground. Those toes are pointed straight ahead. And the knee that's on the ground, it's outside my hip. So, I don't want to be directly underneath. I want to be stretched out a little bit from here we're just going to go back but back towards my heels and then back to where i started back 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 and back to where we started get 10 here We'll get <clears throat> after that we'll get 10 on the other side Good. after those 10 we're going to come back to the middle so hands and knees will be on the ground Wrists are under my shoulders, knees under my hips. We're going to push the ground away, round your back like a turtle. Drop your chest and arch your back like a camel. Exhale and round. <sighs> Inhale and arch. Exhale and round. Inhale and arch. We're going to get a couple of more. Exhale and round. Inhale and arch. Exhale and round. <sighs> Inhaling, arch, good. Now we're gonna find that middle. Back tonight flat, we're gonna go swing my chin over to my right shoulder, over to my left shoulder. We'll get five on each side. Right. After those five, we're gonna push your butt back to your heels, butt stays glued to your heels, arms are gonna reach out in front, then from here, you're going to take your left hand, reach it high. You want to try to keep your butt glued to your heels as you thread it, that left hand underneath your right shoulder, and reach back up. We'll get five thoracic spine rotations. On one side, then we'll get five on the other side. So we'll take it to the second side. Reach that right hand up, thread it underneath. Good, good. Now, from here, we're gonna kick both feet back. We'll be in our high plank position, okay? so. Both feet are back in a nice straight line. From here, I'm going to push the ground away, push my butt up in the air, stretch out my lower back, my upper back, my calves, and then come back. If I want to get a little bit of an extra stretch while I'm at the back, I'm going to drop one knee and then drop the other knee and then come back. We'll get five downward dogs. Then from there, I'm gonna tippy toe my feet 
all the way up to my hands, trying to keep my legs straight, and then stand all the way up. Shake it out a little bit, let that blood flow come back. Got a few more movements to go through, especially if you're gonna go out for a run or for a workout. We're gonna get some ankle moat, so my feet are flat on the ground. I wanna to try to keep my heel flat on the ground the whole time while I drive my knee forward. So I'll go to the side so you can see me. Driving that knee forward over my toe. As soon as my heel wants to come up, oop, coming back. You can get 10. Ankle rock. You'll either feel a block in the front side or a stretch in your calf that's keeping you from going, taking it even further. If, that, if you feel that stretch in your calves, when we foam roll your calves, really pay attention to it there. Also, doing a little bit of extra foam rolling around your workouts would be a good idea too. If you feel a block in the front side, shoot us a text and we'll talk about it. Once we get 10 on that foot, we'll get 10 on the other foot. and 10 then we'll take it all the way up to standing from here we're gonna go feet shoulder width apart so normally where you squat from might be a little bit outside of shoulder width okay toes are gonna be slightly turned out from here I'm gonna reach down for my toes I'm gonna pull my butt down and my chest up same time I want my feet to stay flat on the ground and I'm gonna hang out down here I can use my elbows to kind of noodle my hips around, see how I'm feeling. From here, my hands are going to go back under my toes, and I'm going to straighten out my legs, get a calf, uh, uh, hamstring stretch, and then pull myself back down. And then straighten up, and then pull back down. And then straighten out, pull back down. We'll get two more like this. here one hand up other hand up stand all the way up we'll get four more just like that so reach down for my toes pull your butt down your chest up one two stand one two stand try to get down to your toes without your knees bending pull down one two and then one more All set. Grab a sip of water if you want. It is now 12.30. If you have somewhere to run to or a workout to do, you should feel nice and warmed up. If you're not, you aren't working that hard because I got sweat all over my forehead. Nice job, everyone. Thank you very much for coming. Appreciate it.